Oh guys, I know. Oh my gosh, you can see my face. It's my face. So, before I start explaining anything, I think I should start off with the fact that my name is Nikki. Because I'm pretty sure almost all of you, pretty much all of you, don't know what my name is. So my name is Nikki. Nice to meet you. Yep. So, today, instead of doing the regular unboxing video, I decided that I should branch out with my videos more so I could do more different K-pop related videos for you guys to make my channel more fun. And if you don't like that, I'm sorry to disappoint you. What you gonna do? So today, I have decided to do the K-pop tag, but it was like, I found it on Tumblr, but it was like really short, like nine questions. Oh wait, I don't remember how long it was. So I added some more questions to it now. And it has some stuff about other Korean stuff besides K-pop. So I call, I'm call i calling it now the K-Tag. And I will put the questions down in the description box below. So feel free to do this video yourself and tell me that you did so I can like watch it and stuff like that. Who was the first K-pop band you've ever heard? The first K-pop band I ever listened to was FT Island because I was watching a drama, um, what was it called? You, you're Beautiful? So, yeah, You're Beautiful, I think. And, um, Honky, the main singer of FT Island, was from a band! So I was like, oh my god! And then I listened to their song, Hello Hello, and it was like stuck in my head for like days. Who is the most recent K-pop band you've listened to? So the most recent K-pop band I listened to is this girl group that just debuted. Their name is Wings. And their debut song was Hair Short and it has been stuck in my head for so long. And I like that they're like in their music video, they're not doing like the particularly sexy concept to like gain views from everybody like a bunch of other non-very popular groups are doing this. Disc. So yeah, but anyways, they're super amazing, so you should go check them out. Who is your favorite K-pop group? I think you guys should know this by now, but my favorite K-pop group is SHINY! Name five other bands you like. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do three guy groups and three girl groups, so it's like, even. For guys, this is really hard. There's like so many guy groups I like. I'd have to say EXO, the Infinite, and and Block B. Yes. And as for the girls, it would probably be oh this is hard too. It would probably be Miss A, um, Twenty One, and Girls Generation. Who's your favorite solo artist? I don't think I really have a favorite male solo artist, but for the Girls, oh gosh, that's hard. Um, Ailey maybe, or Lehigh, or IU. Oh my gosh, that's such a hard question. These questions are too hard. Are you a fangirl? <clears throat> no, of course not. N never, never, never. Yeah. Nope, nope, not, not a fangirl. No. Mm -mm. If yes, of who? Um, you know, nobody in particular. No, I'm kidding. I like legit fangirl over like so many different people. So, I cannot give you an answer to that question. Use your imagination. Do you learn the dances? Well, I like, I try to, but I'm not very good at dancing. Like, at all. Don't, don't ask me to dance. Very bad idea. Very bad idea. Do you own the albums? No, no I don't. Oh, don't own any albums. Have you been to my channel? <laughs> Who do you think looks the best cross-dressing? Um, I haven't really thought about this question before because I don't really think about who looks the best cross-dressing on my free time. But um, I think, although he has not cross-dressed before, I think Lu Han would look really good because like, he looks hot, but if you put, I think if you put, like, makeup on him and whatnot, he'd look, like, super pretty, like, prettier than me. Hashtag the sad realities of being a K-pop fangirl. It's sad. Do you like hip-hop or non-hip-hop songs? Um, I pretty much listen to both. I enjoy a good non-hip-hop song, I enjoy a good 
hip hop song. I just like need to think it's a good song. I don't particularly like a specific genre. I don't really care. So yeah. The first Korean song you've ever heard. So I just remember this song, like oh my gosh, I was getting so many memories when I was thinking about this tag thingy manjigger. And it was Fox Rain by I don't know who because it is a drama OST and I was watching um my girl, my girlfriend. Yeah, my girlfriend is a gamiho, and that was one of the OSTs, and it was stuck in my head all the time. Just wait, wait one second. song you've listened to, wait hold on, I have to look at my phone because I don't know. Last song I was listening to was 1004, whatever you want to call it, Angel by VAP. Yep. How many concerts have you been to? I've been to four concerts, KCON, an Infinite concert, a BAP concert. Oh, I was all the way in the back for that one. I was in the pit for all the other ones except for the BAP one. But that was my first one, so you know, whatevs. You gotta do what you gotta do. And then I went to the UKIS you 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 concert as well. Oh, and I am going to the uh, LA K pop festival thingy majigger on April 12th. 12th? I don't know if I'm gonna put this up when or when I'm gonna put this up. But if you see me there and you're going, you should say hi, because that would be like super cool. But I don't know when I'm putting this up, so yeah. What would you do if you saw a Korean idol walking down your street? Oh my god, I would like totally freak out and try, I, I would try to internalize my freaking out, but I think I would get a little bit of squealing out. Just, just, just teensy bit. And then, um, I don't think I'd like ask for a picture with them or something like that because I'd feel like I'm bothering their like private time. Like it's not during like a fan signing or whatever. I would feel like I'm like burn like bothering them and I don't you know, I wouldn't have the guts to go up to them. <laughs> and I'd be too odd. I mean like odd, not like O D D like A W E D. Odd by their perfection. Oh gosh, and if I went up to them, oh my god, I would not be able to say anything, Jesus. It'd be so hard. Okay. Who is your ultimate bias? Next question. What three idols would you want to meet in person? Well, obviously, Jung Hyun from SHINee, and probably Dong Wu from Infinite because he's amazing. And I should probably choose a girl to be fair. Um, I would probably patch meet a girl. I would probably want to meet Angie because she's like super like funny and awesome and like awesome. <laughs> Three things you would say to them. Oh God, I have no idea. Let's make babies. Not to Angie. Not n okay. Never mind. Not to any of them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um. I don't know. I don't know. Why are you asking me such hard questions? Stupid K-pop tag. I'm sorry, laptop. I didn't mean to hit you. What three... Three is a popular number in this tag. What three idols can you relate to most? This is a hard question because they're idols. Um, but I would probably say Dongwoo because he like laughs at like everything and I do too so I'm like Sue Young, because I'm tall. I'm taller than her though. I'm like 5'9. She's like 5'7, right? Pretty sure, yeah. Um, uh, 
can we just go with two? <laughs> That's all I can think of. Two is a better number than three. What three songs do you replay the most? I'm gonna go on my like most played or like top 25 played playlist on my phone and tell you guys. At the moment, it is Gotta Be You by 21, Nightmare by Shiny. Oh, that's such like a dark song. Why am I listening to it so much? And Oh My God by TTS. That's such a good song. They're all good songs. Well, of course, they're like my most played song, so that makes sense. But I think they're good songs. Which idol would you most want to get fashion slash makeup advice from? I feel, I don't, I guess it counts as fashion advice. I feel like I would really want to go shopping with Key because I feel like that'd be super fun. Yeah, like who wouldn't want to go shopping with Key? I don't know. How many Korean songs do you have? Or K-pop songs? Korean K-pop? Let me check. I have 464 songs. That's not as much as I thought it'd be. I thought I'd have a lot more songs. Well, it's probably because those are all like songs from like actual albums I have, not songs I want to listen to. So, I only have songs from albums. What was your first ever Korean drama? I already said this, I think. It was My Girlfriend is a Gumi Ho. Gumi Ho. What was your last K-pop drama? Well, the last one I finished was Master's Son, which was like really, really good. And the one I am watching currently, but I haven't continued, I'm on like episode seven, is You Who Came From The Stars with Kim Soo Hyun. And I don't know the girl's name. <laughs> I'm sorry. Have you ever cried during a K-drama? <clears throat> no, of course not. Never cried at all. I don't know, don't do it. Don't, 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 don't do it. No! 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 <laughs> I just threw tissues everywhere. I'm sorry, room. What you gonna do? Okay guys, so that is it for this pretty random video that I decided to do. So, if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye! I just wasted like a whole bunch of tissues.